it is day nine of the 30 day challenge and I am still here. I'm still in it and I've challenged you to get into the 30 day challenge. So today for the 30 day challenge, I'm gonna be very quick. I'm gonna tell you my five go to's, my five top five AIs that I use with AI brand content, my AI marketing agency. Hey there, hey Sarah, hey Melanie. So my top five AIs that I use, number one, Number one is ChatGPT. I use it every day for everything, and you should too, especially now that they have ChatGPT 4.0. Previously, you had to, <laughs> previously, you had to have the paid version to get access to the GPTs, to the, the millions of GPTs that are out there, but now you can get access to all of the free features. I mean, all of the paid features from last time with 4.0. So ChatGPT 4.0 is my number one of the five must-haves for AI. That's number one, ChatGPT. My number two is Canva. Canva now has AI, um, AI features and you know, if you are marketing, if you're planning anything, if you have a business, even if you're just, you know, um, even in, in your professional um, career and perhaps you have to do some type of marketing or you have to do some organizing or some scheduling or some whatever, Canva is great for that, for putting together documents, for putting together anything you want to put together. And they have a lot of great AI features. I wrote both all of my workbooks with Canva. Okay. So Canva's number two, chat GPT is number one. Canva is number two. My number three, my number three AI is repurpose.io. Repurpose.io. So for those of you who get tired of going from one social media platform to the other, posting on them, this is a, a, um, an AI that you really want. So for instance, this video that I am recording right now, after I'm done, it will then post over to Facebook. It will then also, my shorts will go to YouTube. And it does all of that because I have it all set up. And repurpose.io does have, now this is what you need to remember all of them have a free version, right? But you have limited use with those free versions. So I do have the paid version of repurpose.io, but it's so minimal, it's so minimal. And then when I'm done, I'll kind of tell everybody about how much I spend a month on all of my AI. So repurpose.io gives me the ability to post in one place and everything get sh shot over to all of my other social media platforms in the correct formats that they need to be in and in the length that they need to be in. All right, so that was number three, repurpose.io. My number four favorite AI is Descript. All right, Descript, just like description, but it's Descript. And Descript is also another form of AI that allows you to repurpose. So whereas I'm repurposing right now, the video that I have, and it's going in, in video form to all of these other platforms. And I can also take the audio as well with repurpose.io. Uh, but with Descript, um, Descript, you can take one video that you've recorded somewhere. So let's say it's a 10 minute video or what have you. You take that one video and you can repurpose it into, I wanna say at one point I counted, it was like um, 13 different uses that you can use for that one video, all right? And I have it here. And basically you can do that one video and you can take the audio and make yourself a, um, a podcast. You can take the video and you can make a um, YouTube shorts, Facebook reels, Facebook stories, Instagram reels, Instagram stories, and TikTok. Okay. And if you, and it also, it also gives you 
all of the transcript from that video and that gives you the ability to create a blog from one video a blog an ebook any type of written communications an email a publication and a post okay so the script is my number four must have for entrepreneurs for professionals for whomever the script is number four and I'm gonna come back over and do all tell you what all five of them are after that my number five and I have so many different AIs that I use guys because I use I'm not even including the AI that I use for um, for for images I'm not even including those so my fifth and last and final AI is Grammarly Grammarly is a must-have for anyone who writes emails um, posts or you do you just do a lot of writing um, or you have a need to write or it, let's say writing is just not your thing Grammarly is one that you need and yes there is a free version of Grammarly Grammarly but I use the paid version because it just gives me more um, and so Grammarly will help you to when you're writing out you know maybe you're writing an email it'll give you suggestions for better ways to write whatever it was that you wrote um, it learns um, how you communicate it learns your language your, your your language styles your writing styles and it gives you suggestions on how to you know turn things around change things around etc so Grammarly is my number five um, AI that I like to use. So I'm gonna go back over them real quick. My number one AI is ChatGPT. My number two AI is Canva. Canva's a, Canva is a, um, is a platform that utilizes, has AI features, okay? So Canva is my number two. My number three is re, repurpose.io, repurpose.io. My number four, is Descript and my number five is Grammarly okay and if you use all of those together you are gonna look really good to other people okay you are gonna look really good to other people and um Sarah perplexity I don't know I don't know about that one is that another AI that that it, help me out here I, I don't I'm I having a brain fog okay so those are my top five AIs I am doing a 30 day challenge with Sarah Ware, who's here right now, with Marky Lemons Rao, and with Anita Clinton. And we are doing a 30 day challenge to bring value to those who are listening to our lives. I have never used perplexity. Can you imagine that? Oh, the new Google. Okay. Yeah. I've not used that one. I have not used that one. So that's a good one. Everybody there, Sarah, you know, this, this will perplexity.ai so take a look check it out okay I can tell you probably about 10 other AIs that you could use but I'm just gonna leave this one at five so maybe I'll pick up tomorrow and I'll give you another top five AIs that I think you should use when it comes to images I can give you quite a few and we'll talk about that tomorrow I'll save that for day 10 I'll save that for day 10, all right? So with that, I am gonna sign off for now, but I'm going to remind you to go to blackaihub.com and to uh, sign up for the AI Black Literacy, um, Black AI Literacy Week. They've had workshops going on all this weekend, all this week rather. And on Friday, I will be speaking at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and I'll be speaking on uh, AI using AI images and video for brand storytelling. All right. So with that, that is day nine. It's a wrap. I did it. I showed up nine days in a row. All right. Now, if I could just exercise nine days in a row. <laughs> All right. Anyway, have a good evening. Try out one or two of those AIs. I guarantee it's going to improve your productivity, your profitability, and everything else. All right. Take care and thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow.